All right, peoples, we're over here at the John Deere's. I'm recording this. myself. This is the biggest tractor here. It's an 8640. No, absolutely know, nothing think, about I them. I think that tractor is the biggest one. What are them lawn tractors? Them wheelie horses. But, anyway. but this is a big tractor. This is a Sound Guard series. I wouldn't mind having one of them. They're decent machines. My cousin's one. And that thing was awesome. I think it was an awesome tractor. They're. It's yeah. Free. This is an ace. This is pretty much 2440 put together. Yeah. Like the 7520 was pretty much 2420s. Back in, back in. It's a big old beast. Then if we come over here, I'm going to start on this line. Yeah. You would not believe how many 40s, 420s, and 430s. There's Carolyn. Here is a John Deere 40. It's the baby brother, baby, baby brother of the 60. Now I can tell you each one just by looking at them. All right, I'll explain here. You, you look by Some the have the yellow wheel. stripe. You look by the yellow paint, the hood, and the flywheel. This doesn't have flywheel. The flywheel's right here. Yeah, because yeah. John Deere knew what they were doing with a few of these tractors, and they did the correct clutch. Uh huh. Um, so if you look at the paint, oh, it's got a tractor hanging down here. If you if you look at the paint, um, this is obviously the forty. This is obviously the four twenty. How it's a forty twenty? Well, it's got because, yellow. That's because it has the same tin style as the forty. It's also it's got it, the different logo. It, it just does. It just has yellow paint on it as well. The 30 series had rounded. Uh, and if I owned a 420, right here would be it. That thing looks cool. I, I don't approve with dumb paint jobs of that thing. Actually, looks really cool. This fits it, in my opinion. Yeah. With the construction or industrial, whatever you're gonna call them. Industrial would be yellow. Construction would be yeah. any color they wanted. Yeah. I think. And um, then here's another one, same tractor, just not red. Probably. This thing would be kind of hard to work on because it's trash in the way. Then you don't want to break a track. Yeah. Well, these are metals, but they're not like the rubber. I know. That we have these would be very cool. Here. Here's a 730 diesel. Now, I could tell it's a 730 because of the stacks, the hood, and also the tear, the upward facing teardrop flywheel. And it's also an electric start because it doesn't have the pony motor right over here. It has the starter right next to the electric start, so it has the starter right here instead of the pony motor. They've was, got a donation box to restore it. Really? I didn't even read the front of it. It's got the frame weights on her. What if I put a twenty dollar bill in there? Hundred dollar bill. <laughs> but yeah, I do like this tractor. This and now, is. okay, now I'm gonna talk Mr. Special here. I can't say where, I can't say who, I can't say why. But I have been to a collector who owns um, just about every single John Deere high crop that was built. Not like each individual tractor, but like each model. And he's got like three or four of the 730s from Argentina high crops. Yeah, and the and the ones from Argentina, they did not have the yellow stripe. They just had they it all green, green, like a regular 70, just with the 30 series uh, yeah. stock. And you see, this one's rigged up to so you can get on from the front for the old people. I think the newest thing on here is either this rim or these bolts holding up this money box. Yeah. And that's probably the newest thing on there. Here is a John Deere MT. The T stands for tricycle, obviously. The regular M's were wide front. Yeah. And they had two tiny cylinders in there. And this is also another one where John Deere knew the correct type of one of these. Well, I don't know about that. I think the hand clutch is a lot easier for children. They That's marketed, always your argument. They marketed them so that you could have a kid on here and also do work. That doesn't so, look... Yeah, they did. They put Somebody these, did a poor restoration. Yeah, they did decent. So you can see all the runs. This had, a, this had an aerosol overhaul, as I like to yeah, say. Rattle can paint. Aerosol overhaul. It's got the same front end as yours. Is this some sort of like a mount or something, or is it just is that same thing on yours? That we on on mine it has a hole in there for trailers. That's probably why. Okay, so this is a 70 diesel because it has the pony motor start and the different flywheel. And these pony motor your engine can be completely shot, and the pony motor's got five hours on it. <laughs> yeah, it really, because you'd only it runs for you would only run it for like a couple minutes, and then you shut it off and crank over the big. I engine. mean, like, and then in winter is whenever it would get the. Yeah, the hardest work yeah. out of the motor. Here's a 630. 630 step up from the 620 with the rounded tin work and the downward facing teardrop uh, flywheel. And those are always like stuck shut. Those are to check your teeth. I know. Uh, my, Yours, you can't even check how bad it was. We can uh, look at mine later. Here's a 520. 520. Why are these mounts on the side? Probably for a corn picker or a loader. The, yeah. the 50 
the uh, the 525 there, they were really good with loaders and stuff. Because oh, they gas were smaller. Lines. Gas line, of course. Uh, gas line choke. Uh, yes. It's the only one that's not rusted. Yeah, I just got to pry open. And and flywheel. The 60, the 70, and the 80, and the, oh, sorry, the 50 all had different transmissions. Uh, they were all six speeds, but they all had different designs on the, on the, on the, on the platform. Here's a 70. 70 electric. All pretty up. Oh, does it have a tack? It does. This is also a gas. And it's an early 70 because it has the, it has the octagon starter right here. Not the, not the travel yeah. foot starter that mine has. But right. these are really cool. Um, and here's the 720, bigger than the 7. Step up. So how do you get a dent right there, but then not there? Um, that's the thing about the farm malls and the John Deere's. The dents on the front, on the front so are so hard to get out. It, it's yeah. so crazy. This is also a and gas because you no. Know, and uh, I thought the toolboxes were up here. Yeah, the toolboxes were usually up there. Um, and this. Got the flow ride seat. It's got the, it's got the, the comfort, comfort seat. seat. The comfort seat. 620. Yeah. This is what, is this what yours is gonna look like? This is what my. I hope mine will look like that one. The nice one. Uh, but pretty. This is a uh, very nice sharp looking tractor. Same transmission as mine. Uh, it's just an upgraded 60. And yeah. Those tires are interesting. They're two yeah, rib. Yeah, that is. That's two different. Rib. I don't know if I like the that. other ones are like three rib. It's a 56. Same year as yours. Same, so same years as mine. So it's my sixty is pretty much away. a my sixty is pretty much a six twenty since how late it was built technically, um, but yeah, nineteen fifty six six twenty John Deere yeah. and here's another there's another six twenty he wants his to be all smoothed and up and pretty. And while I was filming, I noticed that uh, it's, got the it's got the mud guard. It's like my M does. And here is a John Deere B owned by Rossi Oliver man. It's got the wrong dealer sticker on it. It obviously. Uh, this, and this must be like a uh, a forty-seven or later because it's got the yeah. It's got the guards right here. It holds the engine. Yeah. It's, well, it's like a straight line. Uh, and he finally got his fenders put together. He hadn't done that yet. Yeah. Last year the fenders weren't quite good. Yeah. Did he hit this one? He did. <laughs> and also copyright reasons there is a band. So yeah. Yeah. I'm allowed to put captions. Yeah. Just here is a John Deere B, unstyled. 37 John Deere B. So this is uh, 10 years difference right here. So there's your train club. Yep. So, is this, is, this what, is this like what your family had, the first tractor? This is like what we had, yes. Is that the first tractor? Okay. That hand car. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what we had. Like I'm not sure what year it was, but it was like this. I'm gonna have to mute this whole part of the video. Oh god. I did not mind. Um, Here's a four, 520. Yes. With the roll of front end, of course. Yes. Um, I like the paint on this one. This Same as the rest of them we saw. And also, you can choose which seat you got on these. You can either have a yellow or a black. It just depends on what you want. No, 620. Does yours have weights on it, or is it no. better? I want to buy some, but it's like the farm ones. You put some here, and you put one in the middle, you know. But they piece them together basically. Now this one was not as good. The other one was better. It's got some runs in the paint. And he's got some. He's got his brakes all the way on. I mean, they are on. Like, look at this. That's like the end of the, the end of the thing. You can always roll them, but yeah, like I think I think they're on. Yeah. But. Here's a 60. Standard. Yeah. Uh, it's also got the low, low seat. It's got the low seat. This was built, as I like to say, either for an orchard or to rip a plow across the plains. Yeah, this is like my tractor, just more tug than... And now I have seen a... I have seen a John Deere 60 orchard propane. There was 26 of them made, and yeah, I've seen those, one. Those are some really rare ones. I touched it. <laughs> and you can't really see the, the teeth. Yeah. Uh, 
It's a 54. That's an early one. Let's put some oil on this. Put WD-40 on them. It's super shiny. If I ever get one of our trash repaint, I want to put a clear coat on them. Here we go. One of many, a 4020 diesel John Deere. To all those people who this is the favorite, the best tractor ever invented. No, they were, sorry, they were a very good tractor, but no, they were not the best ever made. They were not the best. They were just the most popular of the yeah. 60s and 70s. Yeah. This was just the turning point in John Deere. Yeah. This is where they were like, no more two cylinder, skip four, or put the six in. Because they went, in my opinion, a little bit too long on the two cylinders. They dragged them pretty far well, out. Well, I think they got everything out of the two cylinders that they could. Like, they held yeah. on for that for years. Here's a 4440. My dad had a 4440, and he wishes he hadn't have sold it. And if we did have a deer, I'd own that one. It's a 4440, of course. I don't know much about them. Soundguard series. Here's this man, 60. Yeah, and this has the same kind of primer that is on your engine. Yeah. It's only on the castings like this. It's not on the tin. I think they had different ones. International had like gray on the tin and yellow everywhere else. Yeah, I think. Was, I wonder if it was like identification, I guess. I guess for like mechanics and stuff. I don't know. But when we bought this in 2019, the winter of 2019, uh, the engine was stuck. So what we did, we, we put WD-40 in, in here and we rolled it like this with it in gear with it in gear so that the pistons would move and we kept doing that for days and days and we finally oh. freed it we're doing a demonstration on how you save someone out of a grain bin huh that's actually very useful yeah um but it's this is all original paint the only thing unoriginal is probably the paint on the rims because is it's not this one there yeah it's, it's back here there is paint on the tires that came with it like right here. Extremely dry rotted. Yeah. And it's got yellow paint on it, it looks like. It's... Yeah, uh, I think they did a little bit. I think they did brush paint or at least spray paint. Yeah. Say, so, I never got a disc with this one. That's something we need to do this fall. Yeah, this fall, I think we're gonna disco. I'm gonna, I'm gonna disc the cornfield, so just to give some exercise yeah. and stuff like that. But on my odometer here, I have 70, no, 85 hours. Did you count, did you, Keep track of the hours on tractor drive the other day? Uh, no, I did not keep hours on the tractor drive. 530 power steering. This is one of my best friend's dad's tractors. He goes to school with me. Um, not best friend, but he's a friend of mine. Um, oh, it's got a, it's got a sadness. Yeah, the primer is off and so is- No, it's got a more of a sadness. It's got an active drip. Oh yeah, it does. it's coming from, it's coming from the right, engine block. Right there. from the engine block here. No, it's up. It's it's, it's up. right here. It's really wet right there. Uh, from where my angle is, it's up up at the engine. Where, where it I is. See, it's really wet. It's yeah. Probably engine it's off. that seal right here. Yes. Yeah, right there. It's probably engine oil, if I had to guess. Yeah. That better not be transmission fluid. Yeah, better not. Cause mine has a bad seal in it, so my transmission fluid goes into the engine oil. So. It's, it's even more lubricated, so, yeah, awesome. Here's another 4020, the world's best tractor ever built to some people. Now, this is one of the earlier ones because all the controls are up here. On the one with the canopy, some of the controls are over here on the side. So, and I think that one over there is a 7, it's from the 70s. This is from the 60s, so, yeah, we didn't really show that, but mainly... Everything would be up here from the 60s. On the 70s, once from the 70s, you had the hydraulics right over there. Um, but yeah, I ours was a narrow front 4020 that we had back in the day. We traded the 60. Like our narrow front 706. I think we traded in the 60 and the Model A and the M for All right, that. Let's go to the, the bottom. Hand. Go to the bottom and work our way up. 4430. It's a decent tractor. It's got the big old tires. I think this is Shriers, I think. Oh. I think. I think they do track with them. But, yeah. Yeah, the daughter pulled this one yeah. with this one last year. Mm -hmm. Got the thousand PTO. Yeah, so right there, I talked about this in my video, my version. International had two right on top. Yeah. These, you had to pull it out and then obviously you pull out this one first so you can be faster. You pull this one out and you shove that one back in. Yeah, because all your hydraulic fluid goes bye-bye. And then all your fluid comes out the ass end. And then that's fine. It's that's got the dual mounts. Yeah, it, yeah, there's had duals back in the day from pictures. 
a John Deere G. This is a dog. This is from the era my great grandpa's A would have been. But his, I believe, was hand cranked. It could have been the starter. It was a starter, yeah. If it had paint work like if it had tin work like this, it his was, was a slant right. dash. It was. Yeah. It was a slant dash A. Yeah, then it would have been. And it had the other seat, so no, it, it, it was a hand start. Okay. It yeah, had the it seat like that B down there. Okay. And it had his had fenders and his had lights mounted right here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what this. This has got to be from the 40s because it's got the styled paint yeah. on it. And it's got the frame. And. Hey, let's play with his pet cocks. Yeah, I would not do that. Uh, mainly. My Matthew's got something like that. Huh. Well, back in the day, this is this is aftermarket because originally you would turn over like this. This is yeah. this would have been new, so it would be the grill. Because they would uh, want. Yeah, they would turn. So they would have welded or heated on friction welded uh, teeth on this and put the starter right there. Because huh. it is a big engine. I will give them that. It is a big engine. Um, heavy. Here is Here's a 420. 420. Same as all the others we saw. <laughs> 4020. Another 4020, same as all the others we've seen. 60s as well, because everything's on the console. Yeah. And this here. 4320. Here's a 4320. And in my opinion, these ones, I like the I like the look of these ones with the full yellow cab. Yeah. I I think this is a hiking cab, I think. Not the year-round cab. Yeah. I'm not sure what type of cab it is, though. Yeah, on the year-round cabs, I said on the back. It's a synchro though. It's got the synchro transmission in it. 4320. I, I like these tractors. Yeah. I've got one on the fart simulator. Yep. And here is a 2010. John Deere. This is all, all these little. Uh, that's custom. Style. Yeah, that's all custom. Uh, so I saw this one getting unloaded the other day. I thought that was pretty interesting. And I think we had a 2010 back in the day. I and wonder if he's just fine. I experimenting do. finding out if someone's gonna steal it or if he just left that I, there on accident i do know we had a 3010 and a 4020 back in the day when we sold the mta oh sorry Super somebody's having a heart attack maybe yeah but yeah it's a it's a 2020 2010 but that's all the featured tractors and that's all the tractors here so thank you very much for watching and goodbye